Hello, in today's video we're going to be looking at making a little diver. So for your diver, um, with the things that I've just shown you need, your cap is really important. So your cap should have no holes in it. So for example, I've got one here, and he's got no holes in it. Um, it happens to be white, that's why I've tried to turn it into a little ghost, just to be creative, but it's got no holes in it. Now this is really important because we're going to be adding weight onto the bottom part here of our cap, because we want our little cap to not sink, but not float. Okay, so it's going to get in the water, it's gonna bob down a bit and come back up. So I found the best way to get used to what weight I need and to practice and to experiment was in a bathroom. Um, that's because, or kitchen will be perfectly fine, and that's because when you fill your bottle up, you add your weight, you pop your cap in. If you've added too much weight, it sinks right down to the bottom. You've then got to pour all your water out and you start again. So I've just got a sink full of water so I can test it here. So I'm gonna talk you through now um, the quickest and easiest way that I found to make this work. Okay, so I've got my water here, my bottle, and my blue tack for my weight and my little cap. So what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm gonna add weight onto the cap and see to see if my cap will float or sink. Okay, you want to test it first of all, just drop your cap in, that floats straight away, so I need a, a lot of weight on that. So I'm going to try the next weight. Okay, here we go, so I've added about half my blue tack, let's see what he does. Okay, he's bobbing, he's floating indefinitely at the moment, he's not going down at all, so I need more weight again. Right, so I've been ambitious now, I've just added all of my blue tack, all of my weight, let's see what he does. Perfect, okay, so we bobbed down and then came back up. So this should be the perfect amount of weight. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill my bottle up here, right up to the top, then I'm gonna add my uh, little pen lid in and we're gonna see, first of all, if that works. Perfect, right up to the top. So now my bottles fill up, let's add my little ghosty, my little pen lid. Perfect, see how that, he went down. So now my ghosty has been tested. I know that he floats, but he did bob down, so that should be perfect. So I've put my lid back on the bottle, the cap, and now if I squeeze and apply pressure, we should, yes, there we go. We see him fall to the bottom, and that's because it's displaced some water. Some of the water's gone in the cap where it wasn't before, and suddenly it floats. Now if I take away that pressure, the water goes back to where it was before, which means my cap can now float. So once you've got this balance perfectly right, <laughs> so much fun, um, then you can decorate him however you like. Just remember any weight you add will change um, how well he bobs up and down, okay? But that's a really easy way to get this experiment working with a bottle, a bit of blue tack and whatever you have pen lid wise at home. <laughs> 